All right, here's my next video. I'm gonna talk about the kind of games that I'm playing on this cabinet, on the Sega Lindbergh. I'll make an effort not to say um. So first I'm gonna start off with uh, the, oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> the consoles that I'm using, I got a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, and there, that's a Mac, it's not connected, and they're all connected to the arcade cabinet from the back. I'm using an iPhone now, the first video I used an iPad, so I needed both hands. Now, maybe the quality is not going to be that good on the iPhone, but freak it. So yeah, three consoles, they go through that box right there and into the cabinet. So let's say if I wanted to play, I don't know, PlayStation, not the PlayStation 3. Let's say, okay, so I've got it on PlayStation 3 mode. You can see the HDMI cable is connected right there to PlayStation 3. So what I would do is, can you guys see this? I would unplug this. No, actually, no, 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 I'm wrong. I'm wrong, wait, let me just fix this. The cabinet is connected to the PlayStation 4. This is the TV, HDMI. PlayStation 4, boom, right there. It's all connected. Then I've got the controls, the controls here. So from the control panel over there, right down there, and it comes here. Player one, player two, let's plug that in. Sorry, I don't have a, have a stand. So here we go. You push this button, boom, it's on. Then I need to turn on the cabinet. Let's do that together. I just want you guys to see how easy it is to just get everything started. All right, here's a control box, some headphones. Let's open this up. Need two hands, nope, we're good. And boom, on, on, on. I always turn everything off, you never know, fires. And go around here. Here you've got a button, sort of button right there. You can see it. Boom, push that, and that's it. We're in. It's that simple. So some of you might be wondering, so what's inside the cabinet? Well, you've got the power supply, you've got the audio, audio board, and then before you used to have, you used to have uh, like a game inside, but uh, I usually game just with consoles so uh, I might one day just start using like real arcade PCBs so there you go it's on so what do I do is I'll show you the control panel next time okay I don't want to go into details because there's a lot to explain there but it's all connected here it says push the PS button player 2 for now is PS choose Gamer tag, <laughs> and it boots. Look at that. Okay, then use this, move to the right, boom, touch, and we're in. And look at that. Street Fighter V on an arcade cabinet with the marquee, as if it looks just like Street Fighter V had been released in the arcades, but no, that did not happen. So it's really, really simple, okay? I needed to get a lot of cords, a lot of adapters, a lot of switchers to make this a smooth experience. The first time when I tried this, it was a nightmare. Changing from one console to the other was a freaking pain. And I don't think I'm gonna go into all the details, but once we enter inside the cabinet and we start exploring what's in there, then you guys will discover how, what I did in order to make this a smooth experience. So yeah, like I said, three consoles, Xbox One to play some Killer Instinct, PlayStation 3 to get that third strike action in there, and of course, Street Fighter V and Last Blade on the PS4. So you guys probably have noticed that I'm a fighting game fanatic. I love fighting games. I'm a huge fan. I, I've been playing fighting games since the age of eight. Um, yeah, 
and it's just awesome to just have Street Fighter V under an arcade cabinet. Most of you must have arcade sticks or just like controllers, that's fine, it's all good. But in my world, it has to happen on an arcade cabinet. I paid about 130,000 yen for this plus shipping, so it's about 180,000 yen. So that's close to, uh, let's say, $1,900. All right, and there you go. So, I don't know, let's just get the character select screen. Boom, training. I like to play online. Online is awesome. In Japan, it's just so smooth. And I'm playing with Wi-Fi. I'm not even using um, an ethernet cable. And it is butter smooth. Maybe out of 20 matches, one or two matches kind of lag. And that's because I'm playing with somebody that's in Korea or China. So there you go. Let's just, just show you the thing. Smooth. Let's just select some characters right there. Look at that. Street Fighter V on an arcade cabinet. Some of you might think, oh yeah, it's a smaller screen, it's 1080p. It's not 1080p, sorry, it's 720p. You know, why not just play that on that big mother trucker right there? It's just, it's just the atmosphere. You gotta be part of that generation. Going to an arcade, sitting down, inserting that 100 yen coin. Maybe that's one thing that's missing. Is that I don't have to insert 100 yen, but um, Anyway, speaking of which, uh, I got a lot of 100 yen coins in that, in the bucket inside that little door right there. I'll go into more details later, but today I just wanted to focus on how I get this connected. Look at that. Just, it's just so cool. <laughs> Alright, peace out.